Some of the comments suggested I use a coat hanger. But why do that when I have this high-tech paracord? Or maybe I just put wire in the paracord. If your magnets don't come with a way to tie them off, here's a little pouch you can tie to hold them. So we need to tie our magnet to our cord to retrieve our keys. We're gonna tie a Turk's head knot. I'll give myself some length and then I'll wrap around my fingers creating an X in the front and then push the cord all the way to the left before I come back over the top. It should look like this. Now we're gonna do a series of jumps and dives. So I'm gonna jump over the left strand and then underneath the right. Then I need to dive back to the left. But before I do that, I'm gonna pull this strand over, create a new window, and then dive back over. There we go. Okay, I need to make sure that I have my X going on. You see my X right there? Then I'm gonna jump back over and we are done, okay? And what we're looking for is that our standing end and our free end end up going through the same window, okay? Now I could keep going and I could make this tighter and tighter and do several jumps and dives, but that's not necessary for what we're doing here. So now I'm just gonna pull a little bit of the slack out and get ready for the next step. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my standing end and I'm gonna chase the braid all the way around. And I'm just gonna trace it all the way around and here we go, I'm gonna go under. Okay, I'll keep chasing, keep chasing. This time I'm just going to feed a bite through and then I'll pull the rest through. There we go. Keep chasing. I'm gonna keep doing that until I go all the way around. Okay, we've made it all the way around. You can see we have our loose braid. Now we're gonna keep tightening this up and we're gonna end up with a little cocoon that we could put our magnets in. And that's what we're gonna tighten this around. To do that, I'm gonna find that window where both strands are going through and I'm gonna pull on this middle strand and that's where I'm gonna pull out my slack and start working it around. Same thing, I'll just chase it all the way around until we tighten up this little ball of a knot here. This is an axial magnet, which means the flat sides have the north and south poles. Now we're gonna go around and pull our braid over our magnet. There we go. Thanks for watching folks. If you'd like to support my channel, I have a current project going on. This is a Hawken and there's a link in the description for the project if you'd like to support. Thanks.